Welcome back sports gamers, it's The Natural. Got some new NCAA info for you guys today. As you know, if you've been following just last week, Supreme Court invalidated NCAA's amateurism rules, the first blow to them on a federal level. And now the paradigm continues to shift in college sports and for the better, as Thursday NCAA cleared the way for athletes to profit off their name, image, and likeness. On top of it being an outstanding day for college athletics, this incredible news for sports gamers as well. This legislation all but ensures that at some point EA Sports College Football will feature authentic rosters. Or at the very least, it can return to the formal legal gray area in which it existed previously as it did in NCAA football where the players that wore the same numbers had the same similar attributes and features to their real life counterparts. It's still a decision to spend penalties for college players making money off of things like sponsorships, online endorsements, and personal appearances applies to all three divisions, some 460,000 athletes in total. NCAA football series was canceled after a class action lawsuit filed by former NCAA players against NCAA and college licensing company in 2013. It was led by former UCLA basketball player Ed O'Bannon and former ASU quarterback Sam Keller. Not sure why Sam didn't get all the heat that uh, Ed O'Bannon got, but it is what it is. The publishing giant originally was set to release the aforementioned EA Sports College Football in 2015. It was rumored to be fully customizable experience that would allow players to build and export teams, uniforms, and more. This workaround would have allowed for the community to recreate existing universities and keep AAA college football gaming alive. In addition, we have some other news on top of that. A possible release date for EA Sports College Football. A newly uncovered document is hinting at a specific release date. Matt Brown of Extra Points has obtained a particularly redacted copy of the EA Sports CLC proposal made to football schools regarding the game. In that proposal, it mentions a contract term of four years in total to start. Covering four years in total, the contract begins July 1st, 2023 and runs through June 30th, 2027. The time frame would include four EA Sports College football games, College Football 24, 25, 26, and 27. Now, knowing a game coming in July 2023 isn't anything new. What is new, though, is the window in which to expect the game. Based upon the contract length, the earliest we'll see the new EA Sports College football game will be released in July 1st, 2023. That would line it up with the releases of the old NCAA college franchise that went dormant at the NCAA football 14, 2013. For an idea to a specific date, we have to look at the calendar. July 1st, 2023 is a Saturday, meaning it's almost certain the game wouldn't be released over a weekend. With the latest trend of the last handful of games to release on Friday, we're looking at one likely option, Friday, July the 14th. Well, why not July 7th? Well, if the contract is beginning July 1st, that would put it at just a six day gap. With EA Play giving players 7 days to play up to 10 hours of play game time, it would require the game to launch the following week to give it that full window. So July 7th would likely be the day EA Play access to begin, and the typical 3 day early access for pre-orders would be expected to then start on July 11th. Now obviously, the specific dates are all speculation right now, however, because of past releases and knowledge of EA Sports release plans, it all points to the dates being the expected ones come July 2023. As far as what each school would receive as part of the contract, the document includes that information. Unfortunately, it's all part of the redacted details and blanked out and we can't see it. As of now, a number of schools have announced they won't be a part of the new franchise until the new NIL rules are developed for players. These schools include the likes of Notre Dame, Northwestern, and Tulane. More schools expect to make decisions in the near future, long before ES College Football release date. But we will we'll keep you guys updated on that. Make sure you check out the website, sportsgamersonline.com. We do release more info, what schools, what schools are in or out. If you love college football and you want to keep up on the latest on NCAA football and returning to video game sports, you want to make sure you follow the site and follow us on the YouTube channel. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe now for more news, tips, reviews, and gameplay from all of your favorite sports games. Now, if you want to take your game to the next level with insider news, free games, and access to our private chat, join our Patreon in the link below and subscribe to SGO Insider today.